The mother of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny is now accusing the Russian government of blackmail following his death. This as tensions between the U.S. and Russia grow, with an American ballerina being detained and new concerns about Ukraine's war with Russia. ABC's Akajachi has the details. New allegations from the mother of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who died last week inside a Russian prison in the Arctic. In a video message posted to YouTube Thursday, Navalny's mother says she was secretly taken to the morgue to see her son's body, claiming the Russian government is blackmailing her and trying to force her to have a secret funeral for her son. We do not yet know how Navalny died, but his mother says she was shown a death certificate claiming Navalny died of natural causes, later signing the death certificate. They started threatening me, looking into my eyes. They say that if I don't agree to a secret funeral, they will do something with my son's body. Navalny's team claiming Russian police told his mother they'll hand Navalny's body over if it's taken to Moscow on a special plane without advance notice, preventing people from gathering at the airport. The body must be kept at a morgue near Moscow, and the funeral must be entirely private and family only. And now, concern growing over another detainee. The boyfriend of Ksenia Karolina is pleading for her safe return. It feels like a, like a dream, like a nightmare. Karolina, a ballerina from Los Angeles who's a dual Russian-American citizen, faces up to 20 years in prison after Russian authorities accused her of treason for allegedly organizing fundraisers for Ukraine's military, attending pro-Ukraine rallies, and posting messages against Russia's war in Ukraine. Van Heerden telling ABC News that he received a letter from Carolina on Tuesday, the first time he has heard from her since she was detained. One day she'll wake up and she feels so motivated and so inspired. And then one day she'll wake up and she says, Chris, I have really no hope. Again, the White House is planning to release what they're calling new major sanctions against Russia on Friday. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington.